ended the military. Everybody talk about she has no power. You know, she has the power to defend these atrocities not happen. That is what we have seen her rule. And 2017, on her homepage, fake rape. These are fake news. That is how she distributed to the diplomats from her office. And she does not know why these people have been fled. You know, why I'm talking about, I campaigned for her. In 2010 and 2009 and 2008, we campaigned for her release and other political prisoners. You know, Rohingya has been supported more than 30 years for the human rights and democracy for Burma. Rohingya party, Rohingya party were alliance with NLD. I remember when I talked with her in a phone conversation after she released one week after, she said that these are basic human rights issues. When democracy comes one day, everything will be fine. That is what her own words. So today I'm telling she is no hope for our country because she defends the military. She is not only she is defending the military she, as a constitutional issue. She is not raising about and for the other peace process she is not talking about it. We can't see anything she is progressing for our country. We supported for the human rights and democracy for Obama. We, it's not about we support Suji. We as a leader of NLD government, we supported the answer Suji. But we supported the system. In Burma, the system is we are supporting the you know, as a leader of the, you know, the person only. It's not about personal issue. It's about pre in principle. And in Burma today, we have seen anti-Rohingya campaign is still spreading up. Everybody, because of her failure, people are talking about a stand, we stand with Suji. She knows what is happening. But unfortunately, she is taking side of the military. So for the international role, I want to print out here. Internationally, we have seen Security Council have sat down many times. But we want to see concrete, you know, resolution from Security Council. We want to see, you know, a stronger action, which is practical action, can provide safety, security, and protection for the Rohingyas in Burma. Of course, we support ICC referral. We've been campaigning for it. We need more to do to support ICC in UN Security Council and other members. You know, military criminal Ming Ong Line, we must bring him to International Criminal Court. We will not forget, for myself, I've been in refugee camps many times. I remember my big team, my brothers and sisters, who told me their story. They, they say three words, we want justice. This is the word we cannot forget as a Rohingya. We must bring him to international criminal court, including whoever supported this military. If Dao Sesuchi, she has any, we can find out. We have to bring her to. We have to look at how she, how she communicate by writing. Because military is telling is because of Dosu government give the order. That's we need to look at that point too, you know. So we can't let them go. We are human beings. For the human rights and democracy in Burma, one million Rohingya will not sacrifice at all. We are human beings. We will do our best. So, my dear brothers and sisters, we support ICC. We welcome UN fact-finding mission report 27 of October, 27 of August. It is a historical day for the Rohingya because we've been crying. 
We've been talking to the international community. This is genocide. Many years, they never listened to us. But finally, UN fact-finding mission found out it's a genocide. So the big teams, whatever they say, this is true. We must bring now perpetrators to the ICC. We must bring them to the justice. And when we talk about justice, we cannot forget our half million Rohingya brothers and sisters where their lives are at risk in Burma. We must look for what protection we can provide. We call in international community, what mechanism they can have to protect half million population in Burma. This is in our country state. This is very important issue too. And as a genocide victims, the, we have seen 700,000 Rohingya genocide survivors were fled to Bangladesh. We have to look at how we can build up how we can empower our community. You know, this is very important point. We cannot let Burmese government and military, they are destroying our community, but we cannot let them go. We have to get to take international communities this opportunity. We must build up our community. We must empower our community. One day we can be a part of in Burma society, so as we belong to Burma, we want to see, we want to go back to Burma. So it is important, we have to repeal our community. And I would like to express many thanks to all brothers and sisters for your solidarity, for your support uh, for, uh, for the Rohingya people. Also, I want to talk about here, when we see this genocide UN fact-finding report, it's not only for the Rohingyas, you know, this is time for other ethnic minorities, our brothers Rakhine, Karen, Shan, Shin, Shan, you know, all the ethnic minorities been facing 